Once upon a time, in the rugged landscapes of Corsica, a fiery and ambitious young man named Napoleon Bonaparte was born. It was the year 1769, and little did the world know that this Corsican boy would grow up to become one of the most influential military and political leaders in history. Napoleon's early years were marked by a relentless pursuit of knowledge. Despite his modest background, he showed exceptional aptitude in military studies at the Military Academy in Brienne-le-Chateau and later at the École Militaire in Paris. His sharp intellect and strategic mind quickly caught the attention of his superiors. As political turmoil swept across France, Napoleon found himself at the center of a whirlwind of change. The French Revolution erupted, and he embraced the revolutionary ideals of liberty, equality, and fraternity. His rise through the ranks of the military was swift, and his victories on the battlefield earned him admiration and respect. Napoleon's defining moment came in 1799, when he orchestrated a coup d'etat, effectively overthrowing the existing government and establishing himself as the first consul of France. This marked the beginning of the Napoleonic era, a period that would forever alter the course of European history. Under Napoleon's leadership, France experienced a series of military triumphs, expanding its empire across the continent. The Battle of Austerlitz in 1805 and the Battle of jena auerstedt in 1806 were among his most notable victories, solidifying his reputation as a military genius. However, Napoleon's relentless pursuit of power eventually led to his downfall. The ill-fated invasion of Russia in 1812 proved to be a turning point. The harsh Russian winter and guerrilla tactics decimated his Grande Armée, signaling the beginning of the end for his European dominance. Defeated and forced into exile on the island of Elba in 1814, Napoleon's story seemed to have reached its conclusion. But destiny had other plans. In 1815, he escaped from Elba and returned to France for the Hundred Days, rallying supporters and briefly reclaiming power. The final act of Napoleon's dramatic saga unfolded on the fields of Waterloo. In June 1815, he faced a coalition of European forces led by the Duke of Wellington and Prussian Field Marshal Blücher. Despite putting up a fierce fight, Napoleon was defeated, marking the end of his rule. Exiled once again, this time to the remote island of St. Helena in the South Atlantic, Napoleon spent his remaining years in isolation. He died in 1821, but his legacy endured. The Napoleonic Code, a legal system he implemented, remains a cornerstone of modern law, and his military strategies are studied in military academies worldwide. Napoleon Bonaparte, the Corsican who rose from humble beginnings to reshape the face of Europe, left an indelible mark on history, a complex figure whose ambition and brilliance forever altered the course of nations. These quotes reflect Napoleon Bonaparte's strategic acumen, resilience, and insights into the nature of war and leadership. Victory belongs to the most persevering, Courage isn't having the strength to go on. It is going on when you don't have strength. History is the version of past events that people have decided to agree upon. The battlefield is a scene of constant chaos. The winner will be the one who controls that chaos, both his own and the enemy's. Impossible is a word to be found only in the dictionary of fools. In war, the moral is to the physical as three is to one. A soldier will fight long and hard for a bit of colored ribbon. The strong man is the one who is able to intercept at will the communication between the senses and the mind. The battlefield is a place of constant decision-making. Adaptability is key to victory. The battlefield is the most sincere judge of men. 
Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.